Good evening, Ken Tortoise Capital Weekend Report Review for January 1st, 2022. Happy New Year. So the market is in bullish normal conditions, remains overbought on all the time frames except for the two-day cycle, which is oversold at seven. Risk index is still showing a favorable condition for swing trading with the risk on and abnormally extended. Theoretical, theoretical exposure at ETF2 is at 40%. Uh, these are the new holdings for the lending month rebalancing for the month of January. ETF 13 is holding real estate, tech, and U.S. large caps. ETFs 22 and 32 portfolios are holding technology, consumer discretionary, and materials. In the monthly market check, had a nice recovery this month. Uh, I will be placing my my stop. Um, I would say right at about 460. You don't want to give back more than half of that month. But we're comfortably above the dragon, out of the river, and above the PSR. And really, as soon as we break above 480, this is still free and clear. So this is looking pretty good. A nice recovery from this little two-month sell-off. And I'm hoping that it looks like this. You know, I had that little sell-off and recovery, and that led to this. So we'd like to see that lead to something up to the 550. The nine-day uh, had a nice recovery from this low. and has turned in a nice two-week performance. Again, my stop is going to be right under, I want to say about 470, right at the edge of the uh, baby dragon. The weekly, also a great recovery continued, 472 is in order. Three day, gave back a little bit on the drift. I still think you're safe at around 470, 471 to give it that much room, uh, but not more than that. Uh, this is where I'd be looking to get short uh, at 464. On the daily market health check, the low volume holiday session continued to decay. You've got the three period hole declining, but strong extensions on the RL30 and the PSAR flip. So there's a little bit of room in here. Um, this is where, to me, I would say the spine of the dragon, you don't want to give back more than that uh, if you're a swing trader. Three strongest, Russell, Tech, and the S&P. Uh, all three had pretty good weeks. Uh, real estate is showing a very nice resiliency to the uh, short-term worries of the equities. That still feels like a good place to be. Holds up pretty well uh, here uh, against uh, tech and consumer discretionary and materials. Uh, meanwhile, the, the all the globals just getting smashed. So if you do nothing else but keep it in the U.S., you're in good shape. ETF 32. Consumer staples are, are a nice defensive play. Uh, but I prefer the real estate. Inside the Dow, Walgreens and Walmart. So these are some of those uh, staples that are doing pretty well. McDonald's has had a pretty good month. Not as good as Coke. Uh, Cisco Making a nice recovery here in the uh, in tech land. Uh, Microsoft, I think this is a buying opportunity. Home Depot had a nice little recovery after it after a slow month. I, I really like them as a trader as well. And uh, IBM, along with Cisco, is making a nice move inside the conventional tech. So I keep my eye on that one. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
ETF2, uh, 40% invested, 60% cash, because you've only got uh, uh, Europe and then uh, three of the four U.S. sectors on a buy condition. Uh, the Russell is the weakest uh, by far of the U.S. And the U.S. is still stronger than the Euro-Asians. Uh, Euro-Asians. Real lagging here in Latin America. Here's more evidence for the real estate hypothesis. The Vanguard REITs are doing really well. Uh, the Dow Jones real estates. I think you got to put some money in there. Materials making a nice rebound. Health care and dividend appreciation. People wanting to get paid. The excellent short term traders are the ones in this ATR percentage column that are in the green because they are so volatile. So we like energy, semiconductors, biotech in China, then software, oil exploration, and uh, regional banks. They give you the combination of the uh, the liquidity of being part of the top 30 ETFs by average daily dollar volume over the last 30 trading days, plus the short-term volatility. So you get liquidity and volatility that makes them great traders. Uh, the Russell's pretty close at 2% on volatility, as is uh, tech, the S&P spiders. It's interesting to see that they're slightly more volatile than the NASDAQ of 1.95 to 1.77. So I'm going to shift to the daily. No signals on channeling and overreaction. When we're that close to the, you know, to the 10-day high, that's not a surprise. Tons of dojis today. Only a few auto framers. Tons of dojis in ETF 30. Just a couple of auto framers. I like oil exploration. Whenever it's a doji and is testing well on the auto framer. Lots of elements in the squeeze. And you can just take your these three at the top here. Uh, SPY, the Russell, and Tech, when they are uh, compressed like that, that's a coil spring ready to go. Uh, I also like Microsoft, Diamonds, and Cisco for that reason, too. Still being dominated by spring and summer in the four seasons. We want to be on the summer seasonals. pick list of excellent targets. These are ones that are outperforming on a relative strength basis. Walmart, Home Depot, and Cliff Natural Resources. Their staples had a pretty good day today. And that's everything from the report. Uh, still holding strong above that 470. That feels like a key Price. We want to stop. We don't want to see it get back into the river. We want to see it stay north of the river and pull this north just like it did here. Break out of the river and keep going. And there's still room here inside that 30 period uh, regression line slope uh, to get a nice exceptional move to the upside. That's what it would take to bring it all the way up to 490. Is a continuation of this trend up into that space. All right, that's everything we got. We'll get this published and posted. And uh, stand by for the quick trading lesson from today.